Hello, Wasatch Adaptive Sports community. It's Abigail here, and today I'm excited to share another adaptive yoga practice with you. I had a request for some more shoulders and arms, so we'll incorporate that into our practice today. Today we'll use a chair and a strap. If you don't have a strap, that's okay. You can use a tie for a bath towel robe or a pair of nylons or a regular tie. Anything that can be used as a strap will work fine that you have around the house. So let's get started. Okay, sit forward in your chair. You can lay the strap across your thighs for now. Take your feet hip distance, point your toes forward, make sure they're not pointing out. Knees in line with your hips and settle your hips onto your chair. Sit up nice and tall. Close your eyes for a breath. Check in with you. Check in with how you're doing today. If anything feels tense or anxious, just be aware. See if you can slow down the breath. Breathe in for a count of four. and breathe out for a count of four. Inhale and exhale. Stay with a nice, slow, controlled, steady breath. It's much easier for the mind to remain steady when the breath is steady. Good, wherever you are in your breath cycle, exhale, empty your lungs. You can blink open your eyes if you like. Inhale, lift your shoulders to your ears, and exhale, release. Inhale, shoulders will glide up. Bring them right up to your ears. Exhale, soften them back down, loosen up a little bit of tension. Inhale, shoulders lift, and exhale, let them release. Let's move into figure eights with our shoulders. So you'll inhale, lift one shoulder up, the other shoulder down, and then roll that up shoulder back and the opposite shoulder forward, and then switch. So the action of one shoulder informs the movement of the other in the opposite way. Feel your breath as you imagine like you're drawing a figure eight with your shoulders. You can let your hands slide along your thighs. You can let your torso get involved in the action. Nice, now let's see if we can take it the other way. Roll the shoulders forward and down and up. And see if your brain can get used to doing the same figure eight motion going in the opposite direction. Nice, and pause here. Notice how your shoulders feel. We'll take a little arm nerve stretch. If we're working on a computer a lot, this can feel really good for the arms. So we're gonna bring both arms out to the side, sit up nice and tall, engage your low belly, anchor your ribs down, and bend your elbows towards your torso. Palms face down here. Imagine as if somebody is standing on either side of you and they're pulling your elbows in opposite directions, like they're gonna to try to pull your arms right out of your torso. You will start to feel some traction in the shoulders and a stretch down the underside of the arms. Keep imagining those elbows being pulled in opposite directions, really reach the elbows away. And when you're at your maximum range of motion here, bring your hands and flip your palms up so your fingers now face towards the ceiling, palms face out and reach and stretch. Notice what sensations you feel. Sometimes it's a, a sensation of a little bit of achiness, stretching that nerve. Nice, keep breathing and release. Shake out your arms, shake out your hands and rest. Good. Let's go ahead and bring our hands behind us so you can grab the chair behind you. On your inhale, you're gonna press your heart forward Draw your shoulders back, gently gaze up. It's like we're doing a seated camel pose here. Nice, and release. Good, 
make fists with both hands, and we're going to turn our palms back and press your fists together. I'll show you what this looks like from the back as well. So your hands will connect at your back and press your hands together. Nice. Breathe. Notice where you feel the sensation of stretch here. Good, we'll change this movement up just a little bit. Slide your hands over to your right hip. If you can interlace your fingers, do. If you wanna just hold a wrist or a hand, that's okay also. Draw your right elbow towards your midline so your shoulders open. Good, now look over past your right shoulder and tip your head back towards the wall behind you, feeling a stretch on the side of the neck here. You might even wiggle your jaw around. Stretching that muscle that connects the jaw all the way down to the collarbone. Nice release. Unhook your fingers, make those fists, press your fists behind you, and press. Internally rotating those arms. Take a breath in and a breath out. Good, let's move that whole setup over to the left hip now. Interlacing your fingers if that's available for you. Drawing your left elbow towards your midline, sitting up tall. Turn and look over your left shoulder and tip your head back towards the ceiling. Does this side feel any different than the other side? Where do you feel tension in the neck, in the jaw? You can feel free to move your head, wiggle your jaw, soften your face. Nice, release. This time we'll drop both hands by your sides. Good. Let's grab our straps. And we're gonna hold the strap in front. Palms face down, just make a light fist here. Sit up nice and tall, press your hips down, your feet down, feel that grounding sensation. On an inhale, we're gonna raise the arms overhead. Nice, so we're working towards a seated mountain pose, Tadasana. Good, extending up now. Notice if you're flaring your ribs to come up and anchor them back down. Let's let this movement happen at the shoulder joint today. So you might not bring your hands all the way back. They might be forward a little, and that's okay. Now press your hips down, lengthen up a little taller as if you're reaching the strap towards the ceiling, and breathe. One more inhale, and exhale. Bring your hands forward again. Nice. Rest the strap. Take it a little bit wider this time. So we'll do some shoulder flossing. So I'm gonna start much wider than my hips. The wider your hands, the less intense the shoulder stretch will be. The more narrow your hands, the harder the stretch will be. So you get to determine how much sensation and intensity you feel in this stretch. Here we go, on an inhale, we'll press our hips down, reach our arms all the way up, and then slightly back. They might come all the way back, they might not. Nice, inhale back up and exhale forward. So again, we wanna be careful we're not thrusting our ribs forward, so we're not making it a back bend like this. But instead, we're gonna to try to anchor those ribs and we'll inhale up and exhale those shoulders back. And it might be a small movement, we're just imagining like we're flossing our shoulders. Notice if you're holding your breath or tensing your jaw and see what places you can soften while your arms move. You can move really slow or a little bit quicker. Whatever works for your body today. Let's loosen up those shoulders. Get more circulation in the shoulder girdle and open things up. Good, now inhale, we'll rise up, hold your strap, exhale, you're gonna pull that left arm down, 
The right arm will go up and over to the side. You gotta press your feet and hips. Steady into your chair, anchored, side stretch. Breathe into the right side ribs. Feel expansion. Good, next inhale, rise on up, reach. Exhale, take it to the other side. You're lightly tugging that left hand towards the floor, reaching your left arm up and over, breathing into the ribs. Good, and inhale, rise up, exhale, release. Rest your hands on your thighs. Notice, how do your shoulders feel? How do your arms feel? Do you feel a little more warmth and buzz in that area of the body? And just enjoy that for a minute. Good, let's set our straps aside. For now, we're gonna take a nice wide goddess stance. So keep your knees pointing in the same direction as your toes, slightly outward. Good. And we're gonna inhale, reach up, press your hips down. Exhale, we're gonna cross the right arm on top of the left. Turn your palms to face toward each other. Good. Interlace your fingers if you can, or just hold your hands or your wrists, whatever you've got, and inhale. Reach the arms overhead now. Good. Let's lean over to the left. Stretch that right side again. Press your feet and hips in. Inhale, rise up. We're going to tuck our hands under and rest them at heart center. Relax the shoulders. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale. Unwind your hands slowly back up. Good. Release your palms. And exhale, hands to your knees. Good, lean forward, drop your right shoulder towards center as you twist to the left, look past your left shoulder. And rise on up. Big inhale, exhale, drop it out to the side, left shoulder towards center, gazing past that right shoulder. Inhale, rise back up to center. Exhale, release your hands by your hips, prepare. Inhale, circle, sweep those arms up. Exhale, cross your left arm in front of the right. Turn your palms to face toward each other now. Interlace those fingers if you can. Inhale, reach up, tall in your spine, and exhale, lean over to the right, breathing into the left side body. Good, rise up, inhale, exhale, swing those arms forward and tuck them under. Release your hands to rest by your heart. Take a breath in, soften the shoulders. Exhale, release. Inhale, untuck your hands, reach them back up. And exhale. Release back towards your side. Good. Keeping your hands on your knees here, we'll take circles. So we'll lean forward and to the side, and then pull it back and to the opposite side. So draw big old circles. Follow your breath. Move nice and slow and steady. Nice. Let's circle in the opposite direction. Good. Rise back up nice and tall and neutral spine. Bring your legs back in towards center so everything lines up with your hips here. And grab that strap off the floor or whatever, whatever device you're using for your prop today. Good. It doesn't need to be too long, but we're going to hold this drop with our right hand. Inhale, reach your right arm up to the ceiling. Exhale, bend your elbow, drop the strap, dangle it behind your back. Left arm is going to reach to the side, turn your thumb down, your palm to face the back, and wrap your arm behind you and grab that dangled end of the strap. 
walk your hands close toward each other here. This is called cow face arms or Garudasana arms in yoga. And I'll show you what this looks like from the back. So you can see what I've got going on here. But again, you're trying to bring your hands close, your elbows in, and some of you may not need to use a strap. If you can clasp your hands together, that's perfectly fine. But it's also great to use the strap to bring things closer in, stretching the shoulders in this different way. Good, take another breath in. Breathe out, exhale, and gently release your arms. And let's take a little internal and external rotation just to loosen them back up after being in that position. Nice. Okay, let's try this on the other side. Holding your strap in your left hand. Inhale, reach up, get length. Exhale, bend that left elbow, dangle the strap down your back. Inhale, reach your right hand. Turn your thumb down, palm faces back. Bend your elbow, wrap your hand behind you. See if you can find the strap. Now, if you don't have a strap, you could grab your shirt or you can just pretend and visualize like your hands are coming closer together. If you do have this strap, then see what you can do about slowly inching your fingers closer and closer and closer together without really thrusting your ribs. So take the back bend out of it. Try to keep your bicep next to your ear and your bottom bicep next to your rib cage. Good, breathe in. Breathe out. One more big breath in. And exhale, gently release. Move nice and slow with your arms internally and externally. Rotate everything and relax. Rest your hands to your thighs. Notice how you're feeling. Noticing what sensations are arising in your body, just allowing them to be. So we're not forcing our experience, but just noticing if we felt really tense or tight as we stretched, or if we felt good and loose, and enjoy that. Good, let's add some twisting. On your inhale, you'll press your hips down, reach your arms up. Exhale, rotate to the right. Reach your right arm back. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, rotate left. This time, left arm back, right arm forward. Try to keep hips square forward. Inhale, up. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, up. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, up. Exhale, and release. Let that go. Good. Let's move into a warrior posture, and we'll add a little bit of shoulders to our warrior posture. So we'll start with a warrior two position on the right side. So we'll bring the right leg out to the side, and the left leg can point forward. This is our Option one, bring arms out and up, reach in equal and opposite directions. So if you're feeling like you want to take a different variation with me today, you can bring your left leg back, sit in your chair in a way that supports your thigh, straighten your leg back behind you, your toes point slightly in at an angle, sole of the foot to the floor, right knee and right foot point forward, inhale, arms up, warrior to feel strength in the legs. Now, if your leg won't go back quite that far, you can always angle it forward a little bit more, still keeping it straight. So decide what works for your body, what works for your hips, because Warrior Two is really a hip opener. Make your way to your variation of Warrior Two and breathe. Good, from here we'll wrap the left elbow under the right elbow, taking those eagle arms, always the option to give yourself a hug if they won't reach, or cross with the forearms and hands. Good, keep breathing. Enjoy that stretch in the shoulders. Inhale, angle forward towards the right corner of your chair. On your exhale, we'll fold 
just staying inside that knee get a little stretch across the upper back here keep squeezing those forearms inhale press into that right heel rise up exhale unwind back to your warrior two nice inhale reach that right arm up and back left hand relaxes down side stretch and exhale bring the forearm to your thigh inhale left arm up and over side angle let's keep moving that arm circle sweeping it around enjoying some shoulder circles here flowing with your breath nice big inhale reach that arm up and over good rise back up warrior two bring your body forward Face the front. Bring your knees back to hip distance. Close your eyes. Take a breath. Notice how you're feeling. Enjoying whatever sensations are coming up. And let's go to the left side warrior too. So again, you might take that 90 degree angle variation. Arms reach open. That can be your warrior too. Or slide back a little to support your thigh on the chair and straighten your right leg behind you at whatever angle works for your body plant the sole of your foot again toes angled forward slightly really mindful of how this feels on that back knee especially and check to make sure your left knee and toes are pointing directly left Make sure that left knee isn't dropping into the side. So really use those glute muscles to open through the hips. Inhale, reach your arms up, reach in equal and opposite directions. Warrior two, strengthen the legs, stable and strong foundation. Good, adding eagle arms. Bringing right elbow under left and either hugging yourself or continuing to cross all the way up to the palms, squeezing your forearms, enjoying a stretch here. Angle towards the left corner of your chair. Take an inhale. As you exhale, fold forward slightly, rounding down, stretching through the upper back, still squeezing those forearms. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, arms open, back to warrior two. Inhale, reach your left arm up and back slightly. Rest your right hand towards your right leg, reversing the warrior. Exhale, left forearm to left thigh. Support yourself as you inhale. Sweep the right arm up and around in big circles. You might even circle in the opposite direction if that feels good. Breathing as you go. Staying strong in the legs. Good. Inhale. Press through left heel. Rise back up. Warrior two. Exhale. Release your hands. Slowly slide your hips back to the chair. Bring your legs and knees forward. Rest your hands on your thighs and check in with you. Scan through the body from the top of the head all the way through the toes. Noticing sensations. Staying here and resting in the chair as long as you like and just being okay with whatever your experience was for today doing the best you can with each day bringing hands to heart center thank you for joining me today namaste